never grew up thinking, oh, I want a big bread for a living. This is by any means not what I ever thought I would do, but I enjoy being my own boss. If I want to spend time with my kids, I can start making bread a little later in the day. It's definitely a benefit to work for yourself. It's hard, but it's a benefit. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Hal. And we make bread in the garage. What flavors do you have? My favorite, cheese bread, Italian three cheese bread. Cinnamon raisin bread. My wife says the gooier the better. Honey wheat, by far the most popular. And the one that started all that my dad's been making for years, the signature seven grain with the crazy. First we add the water. And now we add the oil and the honey. Now the flour. Yeah, we use hard white wheat and we grind it fresh every day. And then there's, the, as we call it, the premix. This is what will make this the honey wheat. And there's your yeast, we put that on top. Now, no hook, and hit start. I fully hope wanted to have my own shop, and somehow it turned into a bakery. <laughs> and flour and sawdust, both organic, but they don't go together really well. So the next step, we gotta get the dough out. It told me it's heavy, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. You want to oh. throw it up here on the counter. <laughs> you want help now? Nope. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> That's a good workout. Next, we cut the dough into loaves. Next thing you do, you kind of want to shape this thing a little bit. Whoa. Not now. After that, we put them in the sheeter and roll them into perfect little loaf. How fresh is this bread when I buy it from the store? It'll be in the store tomorrow. So within 24 hours of me making it, you can buy it. That's why we call it kneading bread. It would have satisfied my cravings when I had a bun in the oven. Are you punning with me? Are you punning with me? Let's get ready to rumble! You're just loafing around. That was half-baked. Yeah, don't be so crusty. Oh, that was really crummy. No, I'm good no matter how you slice it. Next, we put them in our little proofer and let them rise for about an hour. How many loaves do you typically cook in one day? Average is about 150 right now. We started again in the kitchen. Went from there to one store, to two, to three, and now to the eight stores. After the dough is risen, we put them in the oven and cook them for about 30 minutes. When we decided we would do this, we tried to decide, well, how are we going to sell it? What are we going to do? And I said, let's build a caboose. And let's just sell out of the caboose. After it's baked and cooled, then we slice it. one. After we slice it, the next step is to bag it. Ooh, I'm impressed. Oh yeah, watch this move. After that, it's ready to go and we deliver it to the stores. More, more. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, it's all right. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to get a rise out of you. That's the yeast of my problems. If you want to be rolling in the dough, share this video and click the Facebook button below.